Today, we are honored to have a very special guest, a former citizen of the year and businessman of the year, State Representative Jamie Barton, who serves our 124th district in Pennsylvania. And he brings a very diverse portfolio in that he is a vice president at Jack Rich Incorporated, a small business owner, and also state representative. Uh, but it doesn't stop there because outside of business and, and politics, he is also deeply involved in his community as a lay pastor, a Sunday school teacher, and an adjunct professor at Penn State, which I've gone to. Love that. Uh, Jamie is a dedicated- That was adjunct, not drunk professor. Right? Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to, I wanted to make sure we got that adjunct, right? Yeah. Yes, okay. adjunct, yeah. Okay. I knew you had drunk <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Talk About Purpose podcast. I'm Matthew Ewing. I'm Brian Harper. I'm Frank Curry. Welcome to the show, Jamie. Thanks, thanks for thanks for having me. And let me uh, really, really appreciate uh, uh, you guys having me here. And let me. Let me start off by saying thanks for the introduction too. I'm a lot nicer than I probably should have gotten, but oh. the, um, <clears throat> it's important though to know people's background, right? When yes. you're talking to them and get to meet them, and um, it's it's unfair to say that I'm a Sunday school teacher now because I've only teach Sunday school about once a year. So, but I did mm -hmm. it for so long. But I still I still do preach actually at uh, my church in Oregsburg, Pennsylvania, and, nice. and and it's funny because you know. It, it all it all bundles together too. So you know, you mentioned citizen of the year and and and, and uh, um, what was it? business man of the year, year. Uh, man of the year? I was with Penn State, also of oh, my fraternity. Yes. Yeah, you missed that one. No, so, I uh, did see it. I forgot to write it in the and, intro. And it's, uh, it's okay. Look, it means yeah, nothing. But 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 what happened was um, for for me. Um, people usually ask, hey, how'd you get into this? You know, and I, yeah. I've always been involved with other people's um, <clears throat> just elections. So judges is one thing we forget about as citizens. I think we forget about judges a lot. And so I was real involved in a lot of judges, a lot of governor races. So Scott Wagner's race, Congressman Muser's race. And going back to, uh, uh, you know, other um, um, elected officials, I got real involved with it. And people said, oh, you should do this. You should do this. And um in 2019, if you remember what life was like pre-COVID, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, yeah. and, and so mm -hmm. we, we lost our pastor at our church, and, and, and the pastor just mm -hmm. moved on. No, no hard feelings. Pastor moved on. And our church, like a lot of churches, was getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Yeah. And so now it's August, and I thought, you know, we can't afford to, like, find a new pastor because you got to— in church, you have a relationship with your pastor, right? And, and yeah, we're going right. to have to develop that relationship. And I thought, it's just not going to happen. Why don't I lead the worship service? I can do that. Everybody knows me. Mm -hmm. And we'll get somebody else to help out uh, too. So I had another friend help out with um, people that are struggling with their marriages maybe or struggling with some counseling issues or mm -hmm. maybe maybe addiction or whatever. Whatever We we all struggle, right, with different right. things in, in, in life. And so um, we, we we got some help there. And, and uh, I started leading up. Uh, and I just said, look, we just have to do this till get through Advent, like Thanksgiving, Advent, Christmas and New Year's. And then we can start looking for a pastor, right? We can mm. just, we need to build our <laughs> church back up. Mm. And we did that. And then, you know, what happened next, right? COVID hit. And yeah. I said, all right, now we got to go harder. We got to, you know, get things like cameras like you guys have here. And not near <laughs> as sophisticated as this. And we got we to gotta get on YouTube and we got to get on Facebook. And so we did all that. And <clears throat> Um, what happened from there, I had a pastor from the Penn Southeast conference call me up and he said, Hey, uh, I'm watching you. He said, you're, you're good at this. You, you need to be uh, a pastor. I'm like, no way. I said, you're supposed to be called to be a pastor. And he said, well, I'm calling you. <laughs> wow. said, well, but you're not God. And he said, but the Holy Spirit's working within me. And I said, well, then I'm not listening. So uh, I didn't think it was right for me. I didn't think that was the right calling. And and so Jerry Knowles was at the 124th for about 14 years, the, the, the house seat that I serve in now. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, when when he decided to retire, um, 
I, I thought, well, this is something I feel called to. And, and, and literally, the reason I brought all that, sorry for the long story, guys, but no, it's okay. But, but exactly, Matt, what you talked about, um, it, it takes the, 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 the business side, the, the, the stuff that I've worked my whole life to, to build a good business, the Jack Rich Incorporated, and, and the uh, um, community service side, the stuff with the Lions Club and uh, um, Big Brothers and Big Sisters and, and mm. my church and, and all the different and uh, the Chamber of Commerce and all the different organizations that you belong to. And putting that all together in, into one package is, as, as a service to your community, as a service to your government, as a service. Um, I, my mother wouldn't let me. My mother was from Scotland, grew up during World War II where they got bombed by the Germans and she wouldn't let me uh, join the army. Um, wow. And wow. so this is a way I can give back. So that that's the reason why I'm 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 running now, and what and I'm I'm running, why I'm serving now, and I'm I'm, I'm actually running or serving because I got elected. But um, yeah, <laughs> that's the reason. Right. That's the reason behind it. And you know, when when we talk about how government works, and and I I, I think um, Brian, you and I were talking. I it could have been Matt, right. could have been Frank. I'm not sure, but when when. When I ask people how our government works, 80%, and that's conservative number, mm -hmm. 80% doesn't really understand how that works. And specifically, I'm a state representative. So, Matt, how many state representatives are there in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania? Couldn't tell you. Okay, and that's okay. So, and that's the other thing. People get ashamed. I, it's okay. I mean, you should have known. I mean, you had one coming on. <laughs> yeah, I should have known. I should have. No, I'm kidding you. No, yeah. really. I, I'm seriously. The the um there are 203 um state reps in in, okay. in the Commonwealth, and then there's senators. Do anybody know how many senators? Frank, you want to take a stab? Oh God, just don't ask me. I'm the just the computer guy. 100 senators. <laughs> if we cut 100 in half, we're at 50. 50 senators, right? Oh, okay. So there's 50 senators, and there's 203 state representatives, okay? <clears throat> and so the majority, the majority in the Senate is 26. The majority in the House is 102. So right now, the majority, th there are 102 Democrats in the House of Representatives, 101 Republicans. Right. So they have the majority. Um, they call it a humble majority, but a majority it is. In the Senate, there's 50, so 28 Republicans, 22 Democrats, mm, okay? Mm. The reason I tell you this, and I think it's important when, to start off the show, because my guess is you're going to ask me questions about all the things in government that are going on. But in Pennsylvania, we are the only state in the United States of America that has a Democrat governor, Democrat House, and a Republican Senate. Only one. Um, it mirrors the United States of America, sort of, you know, right. we have a Democrat president, Democrat Senate, Republican House. So the mm. Senate and the House are, are, are flipped. But okay. <clears throat> so it's a difficult scenario because when something passes the House, it goes to the Senate. And in our House, even though I'm Republican, <clears throat> pardon me, mm. it's... It's going to be passed by a majority of Democrats for the most part. Now, don't get me wrong. There is bipartisanship. There really is. But for the most part, on the things that matter, it's people walk, march lockstep. They stay with their party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah we, I see that. You see that, yeah, right? That and here's the other reason I bring that up. Do you follow California politics at all? Or oh, just yeah, I definitely. Just the negativity I see about it. But yeah, I see. So, Frank, California politics. the reason I bring this up is Pennsylvania is three seats in the Senate away from being California. Oh, no. Right. Cool. See that, Brian, Matt? So, so again, let's, let's think about cool. that. Well, I mean, it's following, right? Philadelphia is like I was down there. Philadelphia is following suit of California. There's people defecating on the ground and everything. Yeah. It's, Philadelphia. And that's been happening for so long in California that they have a, a poop map or whatever. You know what I mean? Where yeah. They have a map of all the poops that happen. Kensington, they're yeah. giving out uh, oh, needles. And it's a is, mess. And it didn't used to be. Mess. It didn't oh, used to be. And, and no. not too long ago. It's like zombie land but, but when we think about exactly what I'm talking about, you have um, California has a, a Democrat governor, Gavin Newsom. We have a Democrat governor in uh, 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 Shapiro. Shapiro. Yep. Um, Josh Shapiro. Mm. We have a Democrat house in Pennsylvania. California is a Democrat house. California has Democrat Senate. We are three seats away 
from a Democrat. If we're at 28, I just shared that with you. Mm -hmm. We lose three, we're at 25. That means they gain three. The, the Democrats gain three. And it's 25-25. The yep. siding vote is Lieutenant Governor Austin Davis, who is a... Democrat. Correct. So three seats in the Senate away from being California and Pennsylvania. That's serious, isn't it? I mean, that's, 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 that's why I was excited to come on because it's nice to see gentlemen like yourselves that get involved in, 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 in community, get involved in, um, I'm not going to call it politics, but get involved in government right. um, mm -hmm. to the point that um, you have values, you have core values that you believe in. Absolutely. And, and here in, um, we're in Schuylkill County, so yeah. I serve Schuylkill and Berks. And my district mm. is strong, uh, conservative yeah. uh, mm. folks. Um, mm. But there are, I have Kutztown University, which is a, a more liberal part of my district. Um, yeah, I but, can see that. But, right. but, okay. but for the most part, it's a really strong conservative. So for me, voting is really pretty easy. It's not hard for me to vote. I know what my constituents want. I grew up here. I live, I live here. I, I know the people that I serve. And I, for the most part, know what they're going to appreciate and what they're not. So, I, again, I, I felt like I kind of took over there, no, but I, I no, wasn't yeah, kind of sure that. that we all understood because I've got ideas, I've got thoughts on how to get things done, but when I'm in a minority, they yeah. won't even run my bill. So let's talk about committees, okay? So there's committees. I serve on four. Um, didn't have that in the intro either, did we? <laughs> no, I didn't. I had <laughs> questions for it, but I don't have it in the intro. No. no. You're made of many hats. I envision your closet being a hat store. <laughs> and, you, and you're sleeping like an hour and a half to two Billy's, hours. Right? Right. <laughs> Phillies, Eagles, Sixers, Penn State. I think that's about all my hats. But yeah, uh, been, oh, uh, I don't know about that. NRA, John Deere, uh, Chevy. <laughs> <laughs> you had me at NRA. <clears throat> what right. was that? You had me at NRA. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, the... Um, where was it going? Committees. committees. So, so committees, there are lots of committees, right? Mm -hmm. There's agriculture. There is education. There is games of small chance. There are um, state government, local government. There's a committee on committees. Um, oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. Why not? It's the government. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, about, a pro about a process, geez. about a process. There, 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 the process there, there is a uh, <laughs> uh, lottery. There is, um, um, you know, games of small, there's judiciary. There's um, tourism. There's I and I, I serve on so tourism. And you don't. Mm -hmm. I'm a freshman. I'm still considered a freshman. You don't get to pick your committees. You 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 list what you would like to go on. And so I picked ERE, which is Environmental Resources and Energy. And that was they said pick four. I put ERE, 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 ERE. <laughs> and I spent 35 years in the energy business. Right. right Our right. family's in the coal business. Yep, yep. Our family's in the heating oil and gasoline yep. and diesel fuel and and lubricants. Um, and, and, and electricity, we have two coal fired power plants. So part of our, our, our family of businesses, and while that doesn't make me better than anybody else or smarter than anybody else, I felt like I could contribute in those conversations on right. energy and environmental resources made right. sense to me. Makes sense. Yeah. So, uh, I got, so from that, I got, uh, tourism, <laughs> uh, housing and community development mm. and, um, State government and state government is something I do like. I mean, that's something that yeah, we, that's um, uh, a lot of election reform uh, things that uh, really near and dear to my heart. So I was glad to be on that. And then I fought to get on ERE, &E, uh, Environmental Resource and Energy. And I did finally get awesome. put on. I think in July. So and again, but committees when you're the majority, and the majority is who? Democrats. 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 The majority they have the majority in the committees too. So in every committee. Every committee, there are 14 Democrats and 11 Republicans. Hmm. So if we have a gun bill running, uh, okay? Yeah. So, or an anti-gun bill running, right? Yeah. It's going to be 14-11. Um, so, so, no, no matter wait. what. No way. Yeah, because yeah, they, yeah, there's, there's, they, they stick to their side, yeah, they, right? they, 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 they stick they be, through and through. Yep. No way. I'm confused on how that works, though. So the committee, how does the committee work? They come up with it? or Yeah, so, so we know what the committees are. Um, okay. Those are the committees are transportation, agriculture, right? right. Uh, the ones we just talked about, and and I should there, there, there's thirty committees or something like that, twenty nine or thirty committees, okay. um, and and there are a majority of Democrats in in this house. This, the Senate's separate, right. okay? So each one of us, I'm on four of them. Every committee that I'm on has fourteen Democrats and eleven Republicans. 
what okay. Is it? What is it? So a couple things. Let's. Okay. So I'll, I, I might be able to answer your question, yeah, Matt. So, so keep it there. Yeah. Um. So if I have a bill on, um, let's say, state government, and I say, uh, um, you know, I'd like to see voter ID. I think eighty mm. percent of Pennsylvanians believe in voter ID. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Frank's nodding his head. Yeah, oh, yes. yes, absolutely. He's, he's, yeah. uh, he's if I can if I need an ID to buy a beer, I should have an ID to make decisions or mm-hmm. or a hotel or, or, or a, a, yeah, a or cigarette yeah, or anything. or uh you know Moody magazine if you're really into that I guess a library you know, book, how about a library card or a library right, card right, right? Yeah, we yeah. need ID get into a, a government agency with, without an ID or something no like so that. governor ID. governor Shapiro had an inauguration ball um the night before his <laughs> he was inaugurated yeah. and 700 people are invited um I got an invitation not because you had to have contributed to his campaign. So somebody gave me a ticket. I didn't contribute to his campaign. Let's make that clear. Right. Um, I did not vote for him, and I told him that. Um, but but um, we still need I – mean, he's our governor. If there's any bill that I comes out of committee that's going to become law, he's got to sign it. So I need to have a relationship with him. Mm-hmm. But I thought it was cool to tell him uh, – you know, I didn't vote for him. Vote for he you. didn't find it so cool. So, <laughs> um, but but I'm I'm not a liar. So, um, but <clears throat> at that event, at that event, 700 people. It's a lot of people, right? Now you're going to guess that mostly they're friends, wouldn't you? Right? You're, mm-hmm. you're this is the night before you're going to become governor of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. What did you have to do when you got there? Show your ID. Show your ID. Yeah. <laughs> Now, if the governor has to, and I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm not saying the governor was dumb to do it. I think it's no. a good idea. It's I think it's a good idea too. for, I'm not knocking the governor for that. I think it's a great idea. I think we should do it for voting too. Yeah. So if I have, and, and I am a co-sponsor for voter ID, if that were, I, that goes to state government and state government, the head of state government. So the leader of uh, the house, the majority leader is a guy named Matt Bradford. So he's the Democrat leader. Matt Bradford, Speaker of the House, is a, a lady named Joanne McClinton. Mm-hmm. Um, um, so, uh, Speaker McClinton, Leader um, uh, Matt Bradford, and the committee chair of state government will take a look at all the bills and they'll say, okay, are we going to run any of these election integrity bills? That to come out of committee, even for the committee to vote on it, mm-hmm. even for them to vote on it. That the committee's got to, you know, bring it to the vote to that committee. We're not even, they're not bringing any Republican bills to even vote on. Wow. Mm. So what we're seeing right now are a lot of resolutions. We're seeing a lot of, and a resolution is something that, um, uh, I think there was a resolution last year to make June Gay Pride Month. I just looked at my phone and I'm like, put up my calendar and it says Gay Pride Month is June. That's weird so, because it's men's mental health awareness month as well. Is so. it? It's, it's, yeah, it's, it is. So, and, 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 that's not talked about, but it is. Uh, and oh. so I looked at it. I'm like, well, it already is. Why are we doing this? Well, now it's Pennsylvania. I'm like, well, isn't it everywhere if it's in my Google calendar? Right. Um, but what it does is it runs something. So um, um, Joe Democrat could say, I had a bill pass. I had a resolution pass. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, for my constituents and, and, that are gay. And whatever, and, right? and 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 I'm, you know, if you want to be gay, God bless you. But but I don't understand why we need to take taxpayer money. Yeah. And 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 create a resolution when people can't afford gasoline, people can't yeah, afford, right. um, people can't afford food. Yeah. Medicine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Our education system is failing our children, but we have Gay Pride Month. Um, I like this guy. And, and, I, just, <laughs> I mean, so right sense, there, right? Yeah. So no, I mean, <laughs> I'm after the tax dollar too. I pay thirty some thousand a year in taxes. Yeah, you know, what I mean, I see the stuff that's going on. Why do we keep funneling money to Ukraine? Why do we keep putting all this money in stupid areas that we we need the money? Yeah, we have disasters here. I don't see Ukraine giving us money when there's a disaster. So I'm with you. Yeah. So. That's federal. Don't yeah, don't mix. Yeah, no, don't, no, yeah. no worries. Yeah. I'm just saying my tax dollars in general, state, local, federal, all of them. I mean, well, here, let me let me let me, let me make you feel even better. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go home and punch do, puppies. Or do you something. Have a, <laughs> no, no, we can't do that. Do you, do you have a defibrillator here, though? I mean, we might have to meet paddles for Frank here. We right. have a twelve volt out in my car. Just hook yeah. that up. Sorry. Right. <laughs> the budget. June is budget month, so we'll be in Harrisburg most of June. And Governor Shapiro has a budget of um, 
just under $60 billion. Yeah, we spend $52 million every 90 days. Yeah, yeah. $60 billion so it's 50 it's it, i think his his uh budget was 56 and change uh billion dollars that's ridiculous mm. so so here's the exciting part 20 years ago 2004 right yeah. you were you were in the workforce then or were you in high school i was no i was in the workforce i okay. graduated no one so yeah oh wow pardon me <laughs> <laughs> so by three years right. Right. <laughs> i didn't work for it <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Frank. Three years. He's used to being the old guy on the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. I'm 59. Yeah. So okay. uh, to be there. And he does a lot more than I do. I better step it up. I guess. Yeah. 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 So 20, I, I, I just checked this out. 20 years ago, the budget was $21 billion. In 20 years, we have more than doubled our budget in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Have you seen, has your, has your tax dollars Double is the value of, nope. of, of what you're receiving. Has our nope. education for our children nope. doubled the value that they're nope. getting? Look at our roads. Oh, I was yeah. literally going to bring that we up. The highest gas tax. One of the highest out of, gas out of all that money. It's number two. Yeah. Number two. Yeah. So, so we, like, we, we pay, we and 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 we pay uh, uh, diesel fuel. We're paying a buck five a gallon. We're paying 95, uh, 95 cents a gallon on gasoline, right? Mm -hmm. So in electric vehicles. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Right, nothing, and then we have sugar tax in the city. Sure, like now they're going after you. Don't eat sugar though. Look at you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm carved out now. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, but, but so so when we talk about the electrification of uh, you know energy, so we we have EVs all over the place, right? We have a, a federal government that's telling us we need to be on EVs. We have an infrastructure that's not set to to hold it. We have coal plants closing in Western Pennsylvania yep. and, and because they're being demonized. Um, and, and if you take a look at our roads and you brought this up, you take a look at our roads, EVs are heavier mm -hmm. than regular cars, mm -hmm. right? And the roads, my reason I'm saying this is the roads don't care what fuels the cars that are beating the crap out of them, mm -hmm. right? right? Right. The roads don't care what fuels them. But gasoline and diesel are paying their fair share to the tune of the second highest in the United States of America, an EV that we're pushing for. So how are we going to get roads fixed if we aren't going to? Um, so there is, there, there, there is legislation out there for, um, for EVs, but they're pushing it back against it because, mm. well, well, wait, you know, we're, we're, we're saving the environment. Well, not really. I, I don't understand that part. Of no, it, I but. agree. I mean, look at the minerals and everything you take to make one of those batteries. And then the battery, when it's done in yeah, 10 or 20 years, sits in a landfill. Yeah. So, like, it's not more green. It's really not. It's just a push. It it it's reminds, like they're pushing all green, green windmill energy. Wind. What do you think? There's no oil in there? How does it not see? Yeah, no, so, no matter how you look at it, fossil fuels are going to be needed even for wind. God, you're singing my song. Anything, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Still, yeah, you know, I like this guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep him around. <laughs> Pennsylvania. <laughs> Commonwealth of Pennsylvania is the number two energy natural resource in the United States of America, right? Mm. Number one mm. is, you tell me, Texas. Texas, Texas. Yeah, Texas yeah. is number one. And people tell that us all sense. the time, hey, you know, Jamie, you guys could be the next Texas. Screw Texas. I got nothing against Texas, but we're Pennsylvania. I'm proud to be from Pennsylvania. This right. is where I'm from. Mm. This is where I live. This is where I go to school. This is where I raise my family. I'm from Pennsylvania. And we need to embrace the fact mm -hmm. that we are the number two energy natural resource in the United States of America. We are number two in that gas. We are number three in coal. We're making electricity. Um, we, you know, and that doesn't mean I'm not suggesting for one, and I'm going to help you out here. We're not windmills. We're wind turbines. Wind turbines. Wind turbines. Right? Windmills make flour. That's what they did. The, you know, right. but gotcha. <laughs> wind turbines. So, so. <laughs> much bigger. They're much bigger. <laughs> so. So, make flour, I guess. And, 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 <laughs> and that's, there's, I'm okay with wind. I'm okay with solar if we do it right. Um, and yeah. I'm okay. I, look, I'm pro nuke too. I think we need nuclear power too. Mm -hmm. But we cannot demonize what got us to the dance, what got us here, and that is fossil fuels. Right. We mm -hmm. need to continue our, our research, our, our continued um, R&D on, on all. Uh, alternative energy yeah but we cannot turn our back on on fossil fuels yeah. at all and, yeah. and that's what we've done and primarily it's on a regulatory basis you know it's 
It's try to get something done in the Commonwealth right now. The governor, as it relates to permits, you know, uh, DEP, there's people that will say don't expect permits in right. Pennsylvania. <laughs> and, and, and uh, you know, we, we, our host here of uh, related to Dan Edmonds. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. He's a great guy. You know, yeah, he is a great guy. And he has to, he has to deal with DEP permits all the time. And, and um, so, so, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just give them to us. And the governor said, listen, if you don't get a permit in 90 days, I'm going to give you your money back. Well, governor, that's very nice, but we don't want our money back. We want our permit. Right. We want to get stuff done. I mean, yeah. his slogan is get X done, get shit done. Well, in order to do that, you got to give us the permit. We've done, we've gone by all the rules. We've filled out the proper paperwork. We've given you the check. Give us the permit. And, yeah. and, and that's the problem. We can't get things done. Look, fair life milk. I don't know if you're, uh, you know, Pennsylvania, number one industry in the, United, in the United States, number one industry in the Commonwealth is Frank farming milk. Agriculture. We're going agriculture. To, yeah. Agricultural. Yeah. Well, you, no, no, hey. no, you nailed it. You, you, you nailed it. It's just got a big dummy over here. No, no, no. no. You it. totally nailed it. <laughs> Agriculture's number one. Number 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 one industry and, and fair life milk was gonna come into southeast Pennsylvania. And they left and went to New York and they got their building up faster than they could get their permit here. Sure. Um, oh, in New York. Oh, but what does that, that do to way. our farmers? What does that do to our dairy it farmers them. here in Schuylkill County and Berks County? Them. Yes, it does. It's, it takes away a, 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 an outlet for their milk. Yep. Um, so it's it's the, the the regulatory concerns in Pennsylvania are are difficult. Look, you know, one I I talk about opening Pennsylvania up for business and igniting <laughs> business. The one thing we've got to do is. And make it inviting, right? Make it a welcoming. Roll out the red carpet for business. There's, there's no benefit to opening a business yeah. in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and and one of the struggles, um, if if one of the many struggles that we have in Pennsylvania is the uh, corporate net income tax, right? Mm -hmm. the, the corporate net in income tax uh, last year was um, point oh eight nine nine, which was Number two in the United States, worst corporate net income tax. So is a corporation going to come here to build something? No. Second worst in the United States of America. We put a, a, a dropped at a half percent, percent, and we're now at the fifth worst in the United States of America. It drops down to 4% by uh, 2031, I believe, is the date. 4%. Ohio's zero. Wow. Ohio's zero. Wow. So today, wow. and there are other states that are zero. How can we welcome people in if we're unwelcoming to business? It just doesn't make sense to me. So that's, that's a struggle. And that's part of the reason why, um, you know, I am excited to be on state government. But again, <laughs> it, it, it's a hampering when we're um, very clearly, we are. Um, have our hands tied um, right. yeah. when, when you're not in the majority. Um, so, why would so they do if, that though? If, why would they do that? Like there yeah. has to be a reason. These aren't, these people, sorry, man. No, go ahead. These, go ahead, these people, they can't be foolish. Otherwise, why do we have foolish people running everything? Right. So they have to be doing it for a reason. Yeah. So it, it, what you find is the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania is very diverse. Um, from county to county. I serve Schuylkill and Berks. Right. Uh, not all of Schuylkill, not all of Berks, but kind of eastern and southern Schuylkill mm -hmm. and northern Berks. And there's a difference from northern Schuylkill County to northern Berks County in the type of type of people. They're all human beings. They're all wonderful people. But yeah. there's just a type of different heritage, a different way of life. Different um, morals. Upbringing. Different morals, different, um, different churches. Um, Environment. You know, yeah. what's that? Yeah. Different environments. Yeah. And, and um, it continues as you go into, say, Montgomery County, um, where Governor Shapiro is from. It's a, a very liberal county. And then that just continues down into Delaware County and Bucks County. We have a guy, I think we have two Republicans in all of Montgomery County. It's a big county too. Wow. It's a big county. Um, yeah. I, well, I mean, like, I guess my question is we have, we always have two parties, right? So <clears throat> why aren't they equal? They should just be equal. Like then that way you could work together. 
figure it out and do what's best for the people. It doesn't seem like that's really what's going well, on. Well, when you have, <clears throat> when it's a one, this um, humble majority oh. is one person. So when I ran two years ago, there was a 15, 12 person, 12 person majority. And that's a big difference, a big difference, right? You yeah. don't have to worry about somebody like, because there are places, um, in, in, let's say I, I said Bucks County. Yeah. Bucks County. There are Bucks County Republicans who, you know, their district is 50 50. So they can't be as hard right as, as maybe I, you and I are, yeah. oh, but they're still lean to the right. Right. But they've got to ver vote on certain issues that will, they are, rep we are state representative. They represent their district. Right. And they're doing a disservice to the people that voted them in if they are not keeping all of that in context mm. and, and and they won't get voted back in then because you're not doing what i think you should be doing right even though it's not so, best for so the, country, so it's it's the people the people do want that though they want so, representation so yeah, Frank, of and, themselves and, 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 and that's a good point that yeah. you both have very good points oh you're just worried about getting reelected. well you get reelected if you do what, what they want people want yeah. And, yeah. and what what it's hard to understand is there are people that um when we take a look at what's going on in the united states of america right now and um, you know, I, I talked to a, a fellow yesterday from Western PA and he was telling me he's got <clears throat> clients in Chicago who can't sell their homes. I mean, wealthy clients in Chicago and they, they, they need to get out of there. Um, and they're going to take a killing on their homes yeah. because there's, they're unsafe. Yeah, it, it's it's, it's unsafe. Crazy, Taxes are through the roof mm -hmm. and, and they just, they don't want to live there anymore. There's no reason to live there. I mean, Chicago, literally Illinois is burning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and, um, but they continue to have these liberal left policies that just say, this is, this is what we want. And I, I, I don't understand it either. Right. Yeah. I, I, I don't understand it. And it. when we, you know, I, I sound like a broken record when we say, uh, people are, people are starving and they are, people are uh -huh. choosing, yeah. people are needing healthy. Mm -hmm. Um, our education system is, is, are, is failing our children and, mm -hmm. and we're worried about, um, you know, gay pride month. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's, it's wrong. We're making Easter that there's more important issues about. we should yeah. be talking about. Yeah. yeah and, and, and I want to let you know that there are, there are important issues. And so I, I think it's also important to share with you that, um, I, I meet with, um, on Wednesdays, we're in session when we're in session, we're uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, and we'll be back, uh, today is Monday. We'll be back a week from today. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, we'll be in session. And, um, <clears throat> on Wednesday mornings, uh, when we're in session, I meet with a prayer group. We meet with a pastor and, uh, three or four Republicans and three or four Democrats. And we become really good friends. Mm. Um, and, uh, it's, it's a nice chance to discuss right. issues. And a lot of times we discuss our families because, you're away from your family a lot. Um, yeah. okay. You know, I, my, my children are older. Um, my, my wife and I, um, I'm blessed to have somebody that um, feels the same way I do. Um, she wants to help people. She wants to be involved. Uh, she's at a church meeting right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, yeah, she's at a consistory meeting at our church right now. But um, <clears throat> there, there's definitely communications across the lines. And I, I, I want to share a story with you, um, specific story as it relates to um, biological men playing in sports uh, with women here in the Commonwealth. So mm. that came to the House floor <clears throat> and uh, I was a hard no. Um, of course. I just think it's yeah. wrong. Yeah, yeah um, You know, uh, there's... We could argue that for five hours. We don't need to do that. Here. And it's still, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm with you, man. I don't I, think, I don't I, think I'm still, be... still a no. And, yeah. and, and if you have sisters or if you have daughters mm -hmm. or if you have a brain, um, you, you can figure that out. Yeah. That's not anti trans. That's not anti, you know, that's not transphobic or, or homophobic or anything like that. That's just common sense. Yeah. A, if you don't want to do that, create a trans league. Yeah, Great you, do don't, yeah. you don't need to. You don't need to put men in women's sports. That's and, not. And so we were at this prayer breakfast, and we brought it up, and 
we were at this prayer breakfast and um, this vote was coming up this day. It was, it was coming up for a vote and we were all discussing it. And, and the, the, my friends on the Democrat side were saying it's, it's going to be a hard vote for them. And I'm like, we're all Christians here. I want, can you share why it's hard? And they're like, no, it's, it's, it's not the Christian part. That's, that's hard. That's easy. But if I vote against this, I'm going to lose my job. Mm. I'm going to be, I'm going to be voted out if I don't support this. I'm like, well, what, what, you know, my question is, well, what are we here for? Are we here to keep a job? Or are we here to change people's lives for the better? For the better, not for the worse, we ain't, we ain't, because that does happen, right? We, we create a bill and, and, and uh, we think we're helping somebody and we're definitely hurting somebody else, you know? Yep. Yeah. When mm-hmm. almost every bill that comes across, I've got emails saying, vote for this, vote for this, vote for this. Whatever you do, don't vote for this, don't vote for this, don't vote for this. Because there's always uh, people that, that support it and don't support it. Um, yeah. So you've got to just read them, understand what they are, amend it to what, how, how you think it best fits uh, the people. And use common sense, I guess. Right? It, it, well, yeah. it is. And, and, well, and, and again, the, the, go ahead, Matt. We, we, the thing we, that sucks there is he had, that person would have to represent what the people think he should vote. Yeah. yeah. That's what sucks. Even if you are a Christian and you don't, align with that that's might not be what your people actually align with which would which goes back to being corrupt because then you're just trying to stay in your job instead of doing what's right that's like pay to that's, play you do, you do what we say or you don't have a job ugh. to get paid i mean it's yeah. that's tough that's that tough a, but yeah, it shouldn't be like that because that's still a head of power saying you're gonna do what we say or you're just not gonna be here that's not really it's wrong. You know too. What I mean? Yes. That's, so we do need to work together and, and we do work mm-hmm. together mm-hmm. and we do communicate. And there's just sometimes we just say, no, I can't, I cannot support this. Um, and there are other people, the hard part about this job is I'm in business. I've been in business for 35 years. And uh, Brian, if, if, if you and I were in business and you lied to me, mm-hmm. we're done, right? right. We're, I'm, I am not going to do business with you ever again, right. um, at least for a long time until I remember or forgot who you were. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's right. True. I mean, is that it's fair? Would fair. You, would, can we agree on that? Yeah, right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh yeah. yeah. We don't, we do business with people we know, like, and trust. Yes. Um, we, that's, if, if you think about who you do business with, you, you bought your last car, your, your this wonderful yep. equipment that you guys have, mm-hmm. you, you, you buy it from people, you know, like, and trust. And w- when we talk about, um, a, as it relates to, um, in, in the house, it's the same way, right? We, we, um, we have to trust who, who we're voting for and what we're voting for. So it's, it's, it's difficult when somebody lies to me on the other side. Right. Mm. And then tomorrow I can't say I'm never doing business with you because I need your vote tomorrow. Yeah. Oh. So, so well, I mean, it's difficult, but, you know, I don't know a right and a wrong, so I just go meet with that person and, the three people that I, I had uh, prayer breakfast with, I met with all three of them, and I said, I, I'm really confused. You, know, you sat with me here this morning, and we had breakfast. We broke bread, and, and uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not calling them liars. They did tell me they were struggling with it. Yeah. Um, and they yeah. Did, but, but I thought that they would do the right thing, and they just said, look, we, we'll get voted out by our own caucus um, if we don't follow these rules. And so that's, that's difficult. That's, that, that's difficult to hear that, yeah. you know, there's this overbearing, um, you know, <clears throat> Democrat party that's telling them this is the way you vote. Or is it not we'll that find, way? We'll find re- another soldier. Is it not that way with the Republicans? Well, I, no one's ever told me how to vote. Oh. So, wow. If, <laughs> if uh, no one's, people have asked me. Right? On both sides. Plenty of people have asked, but no one's saying, hey, you've got to vote. There are plenty of people. We have a whip, right? There's leadership. Yeah. So there's, a, 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 on the majority, there's a speaker, a leader. On both sides, there's a leader. On both sides, there's a whip. A whip is the person to whip votes. Hey, we want to know where you are. In some instance, you could say, we want to whip them to our, you know, this is the decision we want as Republicans. Mm -hmm. So we want to whip them that way. The other one is we want to whip them. We want to see where you are. We want to take the temperature of our caucus Mm -hmm. and say, hey, where, where is everybody on this? Um, So the whips never said, no one's ever come to me and said, hey, Jamie, you need to be um, 
a yes on this or a no on this. Um, mm. No one's ever told me that. That's um, that's good. That's no one's no that's one. And I've never I've never heard somebody. I might have told people that, <laughs> but I'm not in leadership. So I might say, come on, we need to be a yes on this. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, so I've been taking over guys. What I did, what, what no, kind that's of fine. That, that's awesome. Oh, geez, man. I, 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 I'm enjoying it. Just the conversation. <laughs> Honestly, I've learned more about our government right here today than yeah. I think I have my whole life. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. For real. So I, I just have to go back to, so once you're in a committee though, like, does that committee make the bill and then... No, good no. question. Okay. Well, then what, good good, good question. Re representatives make the bill. Okay, so... Okay. <clears throat> um, we make a bill. Sometimes for... Um, th there's bills that are out there right now that um, if they don't run by the end of 24... We, so there's an election in November. Mm -hmm. um, I'm on the ballot. I'm hopefully I'm going to win. I suspect I will. Um, so, um, but, um, we will start up again. We'll have, um, a swearing in. It's not inauguration for a state rep. There's a swearing in on the first Tuesday of the month mm. of January. So okay. you actually start in December. So, um, Brian, let's say you ran for state rep. You're in, well, we won't say you're, you're in, I think representative towards its district. Does that sound right to you? Got me. <laughs> you don't know who your state rep is? <laughs> no. Oh I'm, my god. I live in Port Carbon, so representative towards your state rep. Okay. I mean, he's a good one. He's okay. a very good one. His family's uh Mrs. T's pierogies. Um, oh, get and, out. And, and, Shendo. Yeah. Yep. Love pierogies. <laughs> I'm from Fractville. Yeah, so okay. So, so yeah, uh, rep rep towards it is 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 one of we've got four Republican state reps that that hit Schuylkill County. So Representative Stair, Joanne Stair. Uh, it's a wonderful rep out in Pine Grove area, Western uh, Schuylkill County. Yeah, no, no. We've got uh, Rep Twardzik, uh, who 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 covers. Uh, he's not in Shenandoah, actually. They took him no. away, but but he's from Shenandoah. Right, yeah, right. Mm. he has Frackville down through Pottsville and St. Clair and Port Carbon mm -hmm. uh, into mm. Schuylkill Haven, and then uh, you have Dane Watro, Representative Watro, who's a veteran. He's a, 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 a an Army veteran, Army, um, and he's. Uh, has two counties like me. And so is Rep Stair. Rep Stair is Northumberland. So she's into some areas also. Okay, so uh, there. Yeah. And, and, and then uh, yeah. Dane Watro, Rep Watro has, an, again, an, another good, good conservative in a tough district. He has Hazleton. Ooh, and ha you know, Hazleton's. Yeah. But uh, they like him there. They love him there. And you can't help but like the guy. He's he's a, a hardworking uh, veteran um, and and a smart guy with a background in education too, and then myself, where I have Schuylkill, uh, Southern Schuylkill, kind of the Eastern and Southern Schuylkill and Berks. So right. we have four state reps um, that are all Republican, and then our our senator, Senator Dave Argel. Um, senator mm -hmm. Argel had my seat uh, years ago before he became senator. I think he became senator about sixteen years ago. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to be pretty close on that one. Senator Rhodes was killed in an awful car accident. I don't know if you remember that. You guys might be too young. Senator mm -hmm. Rhodes was a very good uh, senator from uh, uh, Monroe area. Okay. Monroe City, I should say. Sorry. Monroe he City. was a teacher. He was principal of Monroe area. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah. His, uh, hmm. his son is now the head basketball coach at Penn State. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, cool. Mike Rhodes, yeah. He's the head that's basketball cool. coach. Uh, yeah, wonderful, uh, bright guy. His uh, daughter is uh, married to uh, Judge Hobbs. Uh, okay. Chris Hobbs. Oh, so, uh, yeah. And yeah. So, but anyway, so we have Senator Argyle. So we have a strong conservative, um, contingent, um, here in, in, in Schuylkill County. Um, good. so, but yeah, but you, in, in, do you know who your Congressman is? U S Congressman. At, oh man. I don't know. What was it? Not a clue. Damn user. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Damn okay. user. Who's There's a good friend of mine. Yeah. Also, I, I almost I, said Fetterman. <laughs> So no, he's, no, our no. he's our senator. <laughs> we, every state, every state has two senators. Okay. Okay. So we have Fetterman, Fetterman. and Bob Casey. That's it. Oh, okay. I didn't know that actually. Bob Casey's been there forever, and and his name's so familiar because his father was, uh, you know, in politics for so long. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, and then uh, Bob Casey's up for re-election and. Uh, He's got a strong opposition from a Republican, Dave McCormick, who's a West Pointer, yeah, a uh, friend of mine. McCormick, um, yeah. really, really strong, a bright guy. My goodness, he's a smart guy. Awesome. Um, but but a West Pointer. So we, you know, we'll see what happens there. Yeah. 
And Fetterman's kind of changed his tune too. I don't mean he to did. change I did that. that. I mean, it's, that, yeah. it's interesting that he's, he's like the Democratic mall. <laughs> yeah, some yeah. of the stuff that he's coming up with is not I mean, Demo- it's not Democrat. Lord so knows like, we don't want anything bad to happen. I wonder if that stroke kind of straightened him out know. or something. Maybe, uh, <laughs> I don't know. He seems to be Does his values seem yet? to change a little bit. No, he still wears hoodies. Okay, <laughs> I think yeah. on, on, on the Senate floor you have to wear a suit. So yeah, yeah, yeah. but um, yeah. So um, <laughs> Matt, I get I, I get off off on your um, um, on, on your questions good, there yeah. on your on your on the, on the tangents no, okay. there. So yeah, you're good. You're good, man. At least you know that it's not set up, and this isn't all like predetermined <laughs> yeah. stuff like right. they do at other levels. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like this is just improv. This is genuine conversation. Genuine conversation. Yeah. 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 If you want to see my notes, it just says Brian, Frank, and Matt, and there's <laughs> there's an arrow that points to Frank and an arrow that points to Matt. <laughs> that's great, hey. Brian. I just figured out that's oh no, there is an arrow pointing to Brian too. <laughs> Um, but I know you guys now. But we just met tonight. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's the first time. It's we just time. met, and it's my pleasure too. Yeah, our pleasure. Our you know my boss, Dan. So you know, I yeah. work for Dan. Yeah, no, that's and 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 he's a great guy, and he's he's an American. Uh, you know, that's that's a dream story, right? I yeah. mean, he's yep. he is the American dream, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Absolutely. You know, grew up. I I knew. I watched him play. He was a very good football player. Don't. Uh, He's oh, not he's, here, right? He was. He, oh, don't worry. He likes to talk about his football. He wants, yeah, yeah. He to talk about it on the podcast. Oh, yeah, don't yeah, don't want to talk yeah. nice about him, but, uh, you know, he was a, a, a good football player, and he started this business up and, um, yep. you know, grew it, and he's taken risk. Um, he's given people gainful employment like yourself. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, um, that's, you know. He does, he does a lot for his community, too. Mm-hmm. He Abs- does. Absolutely. No, yeah. and and that's... That's, I mean, small business is what, what really runs our, our country and, and we need to embrace it. And and we're not, we're not doing that enough here in every small business I know is dying. Yeah. My business is dying. I had to start two more businesses because my business is pretty much dead. What's, I, what's your business? Am I allowed to ask that? Amazon. I sell, I'm an e-tailer, Amazon, Walmart, all that stuff. Okay. And we're just dying. It's, it's, we're on the verge of collapse. Wow. And I know of several other business owners that are in the same exact boat right now that they're, they're screaming for help. They're asking for a, a life vest, you know, throw the ring out. What can we do to turn the economy around? Do you have any plans? Do you have any ideas? Yeah. So, I mean, the, 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 uh, get the current administration out. Well, <laughs> I mean, so no, I mean, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm someone that believes in term limits, right? So, yeah, yeah. I, lovely. I don't need this job. I have a job. I, I, I don't need this. I believe I, I shared with you, I think I said earlier, I really felt called to do this. Yes. I really think this is where I'm supposed to be. If you find your your um, your core competency, the things that your God-given skills that, that God gave you and your passions, the thing that you love mm-hmm. to do, and you put them together. You don't need to eat. You don't need to sleep. You, just, you can go all day. It gives you energy like you've never seen before. And trust me, I eat. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Me too. I, I don't sleep that much, but uh, I do. I, I do eat probably too much. <laughs> I'm with him. Yeah, me too. I don't, I don't sleep. And, and so, so my my point is, you you find that, and 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 magic can happen. So, mm-hmm. um, but the the argument that you hear for term limits it's not my argument so i want to be clear is there's elections right mm-hmm. so um in the house of representatives we run every 2 years yeah okay mm-hmm. in the senate they run every 4 years hmm. so senator argles on the ballot this year as am i and every other state rep in in the commonwealth of pennsylvania right hmm. but the senate alternates so senator gephard who's in my senator in berks county He's not on the ballot, even though he's a senator, because he was on last time. So the senators, 25 are on this year, 25 are on two years from now. But Mm. every two years, your state reps are up. So, look, I believe, Matt, that I believe in conservative values. I I believe I'm my first president I ever voted for was Ronald Reagan. And I saw that guy and I thought, that tells you how old I am. I was 18 years old. <laughs> um, and I thought, my goodness, this guy's, this, this guy's amazing. I didn't know he was an actor. I, I didn't right. know Ronald yeah. Reagan was an actor, but I'm Ronald like, Ronald oh, this Reagan. guy's, you know, lead with, you know, quiet strength. And I'm like, yes, this is great. And um, 
I, I still believe in a lot of what Ronald Reagan, that, that, that trickle down economics that he spoke of. If we take care of businesses, business will take care of their employees, employees take care of their communities. And mm. if we think about that, how that works, um, if we are a business friendly, a business welcoming Commonwealth, mm. and we'll be strong in order to do that, we need to take majority of the house back. Um, mm. and, um, I agree. I mean, the only thing I see booming now is warehouses and that's yeah. all major companies. That's well, not and, small mom and pop shops. That's not small business. That's Amazon warehouses, right? You know, big food company warehouses and stuff. It, they're taking and Pennsylvania is beautiful. That's one of the reasons why sure. I stay here. So they're chopping down all this forestry to put in this huge warehouse mm-hmm. and they've even put it up for lease. They didn't even have somebody in it right away. They just put it up and then, right. and then they're just, that's all they're doing. They're just making Pennsylvania why can't we just invest the money into business and have like more thrive, like possible, make possible more thriving downtown? Well, I mean, some of these towns used to be thriving. Frackville used to be thriving back in the day. So, so now it's like a ghost town. No, you, you, you raise a good point, Frank, but what has our society told us? Our society has told us we would like to shop with this. It's true. Our society mm-hmm. has told us we want to shop with our uh, uh, computer. We don't, want to go to a mall, so malls don't exist anymore. That's true. We don't want to go to shops. Now, I'll argue that point, because my wife <laughs> goes to shops any chance she can get. Yeah. Um, she Where's enjoys... My... And I, I like cl- trying clothes on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Before I buy Yeah, them. same here. Mm-hmm. Instead too. of that whole process. Yeah, like no. Changing I, and everything online. I, and No, I'm, I, I like that. I, I do too, um, but our society has said, this is the way we're going to do business. Yeah. And that's what's happened, and that's what's putting that on. And, and look, I I'm I'm pro business, so when I see a warehouse coming in, I support it. I struggle when we see fertile farmland getting poured concrete yeah. over top yeah. of it, though. I, like I that. mean, because now we're going to have all these warehouses with no food to put in them. Um, when we talk about the number one industry in our Commonwealth being yeah. agriculture, yeah, I, I'm proud of that. I mean, I I love the fact that we can get fresh vegetables and. Yeah. And fruits and, and, and dairy. I mean, uh, yeah, even steer and, and so beef and everything. Abs- we have chicken, many butchers yeah. around and it's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. And, and, and it's, it, it is funny when um, you, you, you talk to people that um, from more metropolitan areas, you know, like, uh, well, do you go to the grocery store to, you know, buy your chicken, your meat? No, we go to the grocery store and we get certain things there. We go to the butcher to get our meat. You know, we go yeah. to, um, you know, yep. Miller right. Charm Farm or Dietrich's Meats or, you know, whoever, whoever you guys go, you know, sometimes it's just a local farmer that, mm-hmm. that you go to and you know, that's ones they, they, you know, the, right. the food that they're feeding, you know, the, they're feeding the, they're growing the food that they're feeding the, 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 the chickens, the cows, yep. The, yep. the pigs. And, um, it's, it's, it's a nice way to, we're putting it in our bodies, right? Right. Yeah. We know mm-hmm. what's we know what's, we know what's going what. in our, yeah, yeah, yeah. our bodies. It's but, not fake meat. But but yeah. Like so so the the hard part about that the the warehouses is they will bring in tax revenue. Um, they will offer employee. I mean, my goodness, there's it's some true. good paying jobs. There. Like true. like yeah. there's true. there were some uh, um, forklift operators at like thirty dollars an hour. I'm like, yeah, it makes it hard. It makes it hard for businesses like the one I'm in to compete with. Sure. Like that. Yeah. You know, agree. I, I'm I'm dying, man. Yeah. Like, how do you? I, how I'm do you... in Amazon and I'm dying. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, they're they're destroying the little guy. They don't lit. Which I get. There's not a lot of actual entrepreneurs. I get that, but it's damn near impossible for them to start right now against something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. If it, you know, if, if they're getting all these breaks and stuff, how's the little guy going to compete? I get bringing jobs in because most people aren't on. I, I, okay. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. I get that. But maybe there's some way businesses could start outside of that. That would be beneficial. Yeah. That, so, I mean, I'll go back to the election that comes up every two years. Mm-hmm. We will win the house again. And if we take over the, or we will win the Senate again. Pardon me. We'll win the Senate here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. If, if we can win one more seat, if it becomes 102 to 101 in favor of the Republicans, I believe Josh Shapiro, I like Josh Shapiro. Um, I've met him multiple times. He's been in our district. Um, I've had some, some laughs with him. He has made it crystal clear that he wants to be president of the United States. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he has made that crystal clear. 
And I believe the only way he's going to be president of the United States of America is if Pennsylvania wins. Pennsylvania's <laughs> got to win. If Pennsylvania loses, who's going to elect that guy? You're going to say, look at what you did to Pennsylvania. How can we, mm. how can we elect you to be president? Right. So what would be beautiful, I believe, is if we take over the House, we have the Senate, now we have a governor that has a choice. He could either be like Governor Wolf and veto everything like he did, or Pennsylvania can win and he could, he could start working and saying, guys, okay, I, um, we're going to get voter ID done. We're going we're gonna to make our elections safe and secure. Um, mm. You know, we're going yeah. to, if, 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 if he does that, Pennsylvania wins. Yeah, it helps the state prosper. Yeah. Now, on the other go. hand, Penn, he is a liberal Democrat. Um, in his eyes, Pennsylvania wins if they take over the Senate. And we become California. Um, mm. He really believed, you know, he didn't tell me this, but I, it's pretty common knowledge that he would love to see Pennsylvania win that way. Um, that would, and be, that it, would be a rough day for us, though, with the stupid politics <laughs> and everything they push on us. It would be awful. Yeah. I mean, it look would, at city wage tax. Nobody talks about city wage tax. They, yeah. they smoke you in Philadelphia. It's 3.4 or 3.8. They actually charge you a higher city wage tax to be in the city. Since I don't live in the city, it's 3.4 for me. So it's if you live in the city, it's 3.8. That doesn't make sense. Geez, so what's our, what's our sales tax in Pennsylvania? 6%. 6, 6%. 6%. 6% in Allegheny County, which is Pittsburgh, right? Allegheny County is yeah. 7%. They raised, it's, it's a higher... But then I still have school Philadelphia tax. Philadelphia is 8%. Whoa. You have 8% sales oh, tax in Philadelphia. Yay. Thank goodness I don't buy much in Philadelphia. So buy that Slurpee in uh, Delaware County. And then drive it down in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I'm saying is, is all these people live there and they love Philly so much and stuff, but you're literally being taxed to death. So it's like, funny. Uh, horribly. Frank, I, I was... Um, so this is non-legislative, right? I'm here as a... Um, just a and guess. Good guess. Yeah, yeah, good guess. guess. Yeah. Right. It's educating people, let them know what's really going so, on. So, so yeah. So, so I mean, when, when you look at, um, you know, I was, I was working in Delaware County, um, for a, uh, there was a special election. There was a, uh, Mike Rabel, Zabel, pardon me. Mike Zabel was a state rep who, um, did a lot of bad things, um, was a womanizer and, uh, did bad things to women on, on both sides of the aisle. And they called him on it and he had to resign finally. And when they did, they had a special election in Delaware County. So my wife and I were driving down, knocking on doors in Delaware County, because if we win that seat, mm -hmm. we're over. It meant that much to me. Right. So after work, we'd drive down there and knock on doors. And I got to meet a lot of people from Delaware County. Wonderful folks, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so I'd knock on their door and it's like, hey, how are you? You know, did you grow up here in uh, uh, Upper Darby? And that, that's the town, little town we were in oh, where this it. rep was running. And, and uh, they're like, no, I moved here from Philadelphia because the rep was from Upper Darby. Yeah. So I'm like, well, you're going to know her. And her husband's a cop. And they're both military people, right? Sounds like a good Good. state representative to me. And they're both right. Republicans. <laughs> and and so you know the people said, uh, well, no, I'm 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 from Philadelphia. Oh, why why'd you move out? It's a mess. I'm like, yeah. I said, you know, the administration has been a Democrat administration in Philadelphia for years. But when you moved out of Philadelphia, you didn't keep that Democrat with you. Oh yeah, my my great grandmother was a Democrat. My grandmother was a Democrat. My mother was a Democrat. You know, I'm a Democrat. How'd that work out yeah. for you? Yeah. And like, well, how's that working so, out so, for you? So you're going to, I mean, you, you, you can't let this spread. And, and, and my point is, if you think about that, it's like a cancer that kind of, yeah. if, if I'm yeah. leaving and, and, and again, you guys are too young, but a lot of these people's grandmothers or mothers were JFK Democrats. JFK mm -hmm. is Ronald Reagan today. I mean, right. yeah, rest yeah. his soul. I mean, he had a, a horrible uh, 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 end of his life, but he he wasn't far left woke. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. He, right. He had some strong conservative values. Um, he made some mistakes too. I mean, yeah. but my grandmother said that was the only Democrat she ever voted for. Yeah, yeah there was. <laughs> a, 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 and I think if people, you know, I have, if you if you talk to Democrats and you ask them why. You'll find out that a lot of them. It's not because of Joe Biden, right? No, definitely I think not. very few definitely will not. say they're they're <laughs> hanging on by the skin of their teeth. But and 
but but they'll say it's because of my mother or my father or my my grandmother or my grandfather yeah. were Democrats. And if you think of what the Democrat Party was back then, you can respect that. Um, you you certainly can. And look, it's America. We have to respect everybody, right? I yeah, mean, right. that's that's something I think is 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 important. And, and unfortunately, we've lost a lot of it. Yeah, um, I think but, both sides need to, I mean, need to respect. Right, <laughs> right. I mean, I can't, and I think it should be along the lines of is. You can't expect me to respect you while you're disrespecting me. Right. So, you know, with the whole trans thing or whatever, I'm not against trans at all. Whatever you want to do, you do. But the minute you start forcing it down on me and make me changing parts of my life to, you know, bend the knee for you, that's disrespectful for me to, to me. So why, why do I have to keep doing all of this and bending the knee to make you happy while it's making me unhappy? Like, I don't mind being selfless and about the people, but for how long? Why, why, why is your feelings more important than mine? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I respect everybody. I love everybody. I think it's, you know, no offense. It's usually us against them as far as the elites call the people that are throwing these bills in the middle of the night that are thousands of pages long that throw gender studies in there that have millions of dollars behind it and mm-hmm. stuff like that. The stuff you shouldn't really be spending the tax dollar on. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah no, um, I agree. That, that's the stuff that I don't like, you know, the stuff where, you know, you hear about insider trading and everything like that. Just a lot of the stuff that's hypocritical or, or um, double standardish, anything like that. I'm not, I'm not with, because at the end of the day, like I said, us as Americans that are at the bottom, that aren't at the top, we're all struggling with the same problems. Just some yeah. of us are struggling a little more than others, depending on career or income or the amount of family we have. Like you have five kids, bro. Mm-hmm. Of course you're going to struggle more financially than somebody that doesn't have five kids or just has one kid or has no kids. You know what I'm saying? But at the Mm -hmm. end of the day, you're still struggling. We're still paying taxes. We're still paying taxes on our parents' stuff after they leave. They're paying taxes on the stuff that they already bought. We sell a car five times. It's tax, 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 tax. You go to the city, it's city wage tax. It's sugar tax. It's higher income tax. Sales sales tax, tax, which I just realized. And I've been buying stuff in Philly for a while. I mean, I'd rather just go to Delaware and get their sales tax (laughs) and come back to Philly (laughs) if that's the case. But I'm saying, like, at the end of the day... And you pay more in gas tax. (laughs) More gas tax and tax. You can take it either way, you know. But but at the end of the day, these things that should be happening should be for us. Before the dollar was a thing, you know, we had bonds and it would be up to the people to give the bonds to the government to pass the law and do this stuff. We don't do that now. Now they make the decisions for us that we just have to eat crow. You know what I mean? I'd like to see, um, I love your, your persona and, you know, just meeting you and everything that, you know, you're, you're down to earth. You get it. You, you, you talk to people that are struggling and we live in a, we live in a impoverished County. I mean, school oh, County is yeah. Riches, do you know what I'm saying? So oh, there's it's a lot rich of in people. people. It's rich in people. Yeah, rich in uh, people and, and right. ethnicity, oh, but not as far as, as as money. Like it's not. It's a poverty. Go yeah. to, go drive through Monty City or Shenandoah. Yeah, there's, you know, drive there's, through there's, smoking. There's, go through some of these places and just see. Like we don't have a lot of money here, so it should be about us because we, you know, we're impoverished. You know, you know, we need help, yeah. not everybody else. You yeah. know what I mean? It's, Our, it's 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 there's a lot it is a depressed area. It know? is. You're, mm-hmm. And and um and it's there's always been since coalition, right? The coalition happened. We had bars and churches on every corner. Yeah. I know I know a lot about coalition. So, you know, it's it's always been like that. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? It's always been it's more pop. And it's just how it's been. That's why you have houses around the the, the block and then houses smacked in the middle because they're just piling people in here to work in the coal mines. Yeah. And I mean, it's um it, it's still there's there's a rich heritage here. Yeah, you know, I think the I'm other proud thing of Google County. Yeah, I'm proud no, of my no, school. No, oh yeah, you know I, what I, mean? I think what's funny is you know we have you know growing up there was your Italian friends, your Irish friends. Um, you know there there was Lithuanian and Polish, and yeah, you don't call a Lithuanian a Polish and a Polish right. a Lithuanian <laughs> and. Uh, you know, Ukrainian, right? There's a strong yep. Ukrainian yep. population here. Yep. And, and Schuylkill County is a melting pot of, yes. of, of, you know, a microcosm of, of the United States of America. I think we, we are a mixture of, of different, and it's influx since then because, because of our um, uh, low real estate values and some of our, some of our uh, communities, right? You referenced Shenandoah, Monoy yeah. Oh, yeah. City. Um, there's been an influx of people from inner cities wanting to leave the city. Um, it's bringing color, it's bringing Hispanics um, to the area. That's mm-hmm. not a bad thing no. at all. It's bringing no, a new yeah. culture. Right. Shit, man. 
<laughs> yeah, I, mean, I love brings, their food. Yeah, yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> it, it brings a language too. You yeah. know, Pennsylvania. You know, we we speak English here, and and I'm okay with that. Pennsylvania but, Dutch. Oh, Dutch. Pennsylvania oh yeah, Dutch. Pennsylvania Dutch. Yeah, Dutch. Yeah, whole butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, Old croc. Yeah, <laughs> but but I mean, it's not bad to learn Spanish. It's healthy no, to learn right. another language. Yeah, and, absolutely. Um, so that's, I mean, I'm okay with that influx. I think it's, 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 we all bleed blood or bleed red, man. Yeah. You know no, what I mean? That's the way they just gotta, they gotta get away from their, the same thing that they have when they're mo- like, they're moving out of the cities for a reason, mm-hmm. you know? Well, we're seeing, we're seeing same. it everywhere, right? So everybody from mm-hmm. California is moving to Austin. Yep. Now Austin has gone super crazy. There. Well, yeah, Austin's right. always been crazy. Yeah, it was no, more liberal it's, and it's, stuff, but now it was gone. the only liberal spot in Texas. Yeah. And now it's now it's getting worse. Yeah, and that's spreading. Right? Yeah, so yeah. yeah, so it's going into Houston and stuff like that. I heard Houston's starting to get a little more liberal. I don't think Texas or Dallas will get liberal. Yeah, Dallas is pretty. And, is it and starting just, to get there? Yeah, yeah. yeah see, that's surprising to me. I didn't think that would be. A friend of mine that had an energy company down there, an oil. Yeah an oil business and he moved it out of Dallas. It's just weird to me. Like, it's like you touch the pan and it's hot and it's like, Ooh, you know what? I'm going to touch that one instead. <laughs> you know, that's kind of what it is. Or they go over and then they make that pan hot and touch that one. Yeah, you, don't know? Be, you know, you move out of it. The problem is, is that you're voting on shitty policies. So why move out of a place with the shitty policies to go make a new place to have shitty policy? Yeah. That's all yeah, they're doing. They're, you're voting they're for the same thing that you just tried to get away from yeah. over here. Yeah. That's no, no, even, like, they're even trying to get them for taxes after they move out of the state and stuff from California. Yeah, and I stuff. see that. So I really hope that doesn't That's happen crazy. here in Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, well, I, and I mean, again, like you said, it's close to two, two or three seats, right? So we don't know. Three seats. Yeah, we don't know. <clears throat> really don't know. But if, if we can flip that seat, and here's the other thing. There's boatloads of money coming in from California to Democrat candidates here in the Commonwealth because they want to see Pennsylvania flip. Mm. They want to see Pennsylvania flip. On so, Pennsylvania. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and what it takes is, is not just saying, come on. Yeah. And not just, uh, uh, you know, I told you there's four Republican candidates here. Um, and not everybody's Republican in, 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 in Schuylkill County and, or, or in Berks. Um, Berks, there are eight state reps in Berks that have a little piece of it. <clears throat> Um, there are five Republicans and three Democrats all in that Reading, Wyoming missing area, the three right. Democrats, mm. um, wonderful people, but, um, just different core values than mine. Mm. Um, so, so it, it's, it, it, if you think about actually going to a community where there's a seat and knocking on doors and helping that person, um, that, that's what, that's what my wife and I were doing. We were, mm. and we failed. Um, <laughs> Because it was an uphill battle. Yeah. Um, but we were not going to just not sit try and, and hope. Right. Um, right. There's time for hope, right? We all have hope. But uh, mm-hmm. like there, there's also election. a time for work and, mm-hmm. and a time to, uh, to, to say, okay, um, we've got we've to do something. Got to um, do something about so, it. So we yep. thought we'll go down there and, and, and knock on doors. So, um, Ooh. I mean, so when I was growing up, and this is going to sound weird, but when I was growing up, I was always told Democrats are here for you. They're here to help you out. The Republicans only care about business and big business. Well, first of all, the United States of America is a corporation when you think about it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so that makes sense. But it, what doesn't make sense to me is that Democrats are supposed to be here for us. I used to be a Democrat, but I left once I started making a living and a career and stuff like that. I'm like, they, what are they doing? Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. It's on the inverse. I'm like, that's not, they're, they're doing things that are supposed to be for the people, but it's really not for the people. And I think, people are really starting to wake up a little bit more because of our current administration now. Like, like you said, they're more worried about these minuscule trivial things to push through and try to get pat each other on the back for that. Instead of worrying about like true problems, like inflation, for instance, like mm-hmm. stop giving money away. If you're trying to stop inflation, you can't keep giving money away that you're not able to audit per se, and then worry about inflation in the next breath because you're causing the inflation to happen. Yeah, deficit spending is something that that the governor is doing right now. So, you know, and I try to break it down to the ridiculous. So we say um, if we have a business, and let's stop right there. We have a household. We all have a household. Right? Yes. Whether, right. whether we have children right. or not, we have a household. <clears throat> and there are times in our household growing up when, you know, hey, can we go to the movies? No, yeah. we're going to stay home and watch television or read a book. Um, you know, we we're broke. We we yeah, don't have the money. I have to yeah. tell my kids that all the time. They, yeah, you they, know, yeah. can we Last go to the roll roost? Can't, can't do it. I'm yeah, sorry, you man. have to say no. Yeah. Right? We say no as responsible conservative parents with right. our money. Mm-hmm. But 
But government says, well, there's no money, but we got to do this. We, we, because I want to be president of the United States, I got to let the, everybody, everybody in Pennsylvania know we're going to give an extra, you know, $5 billion to schools. That's great, but where's it coming from? Right. Mm -hmm. You got to take it away from somebody else. No, no, no. We're just going to give it to them. Mm. Well, then you got to raise taxes. So how am I helping everybody? And while everybody says, oh, this is great. We're going to get free college tuition. We're going to get free this and free that. There is no free lunch. That's right. There no is no free lunch. Somebody pays for it. And, and that's okay, right? That, 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 that's okay that we pay for it. But just know it. Yeah. Just, just, just know it yeah. that, that there has to, we can't be in a deficit. We can't. We're spending our rainy day fund that mm -hmm. we set aside for exactly that. That's another thing. If you break it down to the ridiculous, something bad happens. Yeah. Um, you know, the refrigerator goes, washer, dryer, car. Um, we need extra money set aside to take care of those things. Yep. Right. Emergency fund. Yeah. What we do get is on like, that Dave Ramsey. I mean, <laughs> and if, and if we're broke and we can we don't have the best credit, we go and we get this exponential APR on a car that's, no, you know, yeah. that you have to have. Yep. For, that's ridiculous. Because you need it. And that's exactly what the government's doing. Yeah. We're just getting these ridiculous loans that everybody else is going to have to pay over the years. And to do that, we're going to raise all the taxes for everything. What's What's the new one that the, the the corporate gains tax or the gains tax that Biden's trying to raise up? Oh, I, I'm. Not, oh my goodness! Every, I've got enough to, to deal everything. with with our yeah, own I'm budget. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, that's high level. But uh, what I'm saying is, at the end of the day, they need to start worrying about us. I wish we live in a technology world. I'd love to get away from the paper ballots, get away from the mail-in ballots and stuff. Let's have an app. Let's have an app that's thorough that can't be can't be manipulated. Make sure it's not you know, manipulate and let's start having people vote on it and let's start having some like alignment. So like, for instance, please don't take this the wrong way or anything, but if you have somebody that's just on child or just on uh, welfare, their whole life, should they be voting for what everybody else is have to do with the money while they're the ones just taking in the money? You see what I'm saying? That's kind of like, you should have to put some skin in the game to make decisions for the game. Otherwise just sit on the bench and be happy with that. You get to play once in a while. Yeah, right. that's, that's kind of that's a I tough feel. decision. That's, it, it is. It is. And I'm not trying to put you in any. No, you're not. You're not. You're not. No, no. You're not. You're not going to. You're not going to offend me in any way. And I, and I'll share with you that there's one thing, and I think Brian, you brought it up that yeah. we haven't really talked about, and that's independence. Yeah. 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 We've been talking about Democrats and Republicans. Independents are people too. Yeah. Yeah. And and they are people that pay attention. Um. Some people don't, but I think there's a lot of independents that are just fed up yeah. with far right and far left. Yeah. And I mean, that's kind of where I'm at. Like, yeah. I consider myself more aligning right or conservative just because I don't believe in a lot of the stuff that doesn't make sense. So like believe in the science, get this jab, but we're not going to listen to chromosomes. Do you see what I'm saying? So like anything yeah. that's like that, yeah. I don't, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't agree with you. It's against science. It doesn't make sense. It's, it's all your agenda. It seems I'm more a right aligned like that, but yeah. then again, I don't believe in all the stuff the right does either. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of like in the middle. I'm kind of like in the middle. I just want people to be good. And I want people to get the benefit of the government, not just the government getting the benefit of the yeah. government. Well, let's, let's sense. pick a, let's pick a, uh, a piece that's going to be coming up here. Is that all right? Yeah. yeah, yeah let's, 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 let's pick up something and, and, um, um, it's probably going to happen in Pennsylvania. It's legalization of marijuana. Okay. Is that something we can talk about? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sure. Yeah. We're, we're, yeah. We're, we may have not going to throw we, us off. No, we may no. have differing views. We'll probably have different views. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We will. So, <laughs> so, so I'm a hard no. And, yeah. and, and, um, there are people that say, how can you do that? We're going to tax this. We're going to make a lot of money. Um, and I've heard lots of arguments for it. And I like having the arguments and the arguments <clears> hopefully aren't going to be, shaking each other's throats because you guys are all a lot bigger. And <laughs> no, 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 no. So, so, um, no. um and, and I, I can only get two shots off. So <laughs> <laughs> Frank's well, going first. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> I think I knew it. I knew it. Don't worry. Two, two just to slow him down. <laughs> with his, so with his foyer buddy coming out, you might have to, yeah, yeah, yeah. somebody's going to take care so, of it. So seriously, it's, it's, it's something I don't even believe in. Let me, let me be clear on this. The medical marijuana the way we're handling it, I'm sad. I, I'm depressed. I need marijuana. Sure, give me $70, fill out this form. You know, marijuana. Oh, yeah. I, mm -hmm. I, I get it. You can also go anywhere in this county and get marijuana on the street. 
Um, oh, that's scary, though, man. I mean, no, no, I know. I, I, I with know. Fentanyl and everything. It's, I, it's scary I'm with now. You. I would never. I'm with you. I would we, never do half of the things I did in my 20s. Now I'll say that not just because <laughs> I have better morals, but because I I also don't trust it. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> it's uh, it's yeah, I definitely. But go ahead. But sorry. I believe. I I believe if we move to a society where marijuana is just openly used and freely used, that it's going to come to a wasteful um, weakening of our society. I truly believe that, and um, I'm I'm somebody that's uh, you know I, I I'm I'm in recovery, so I'm ten years sober. Um, oh, congrats. Congrats. Got, well, it's it's I don't tell you before congratulations it works for me that just right. works for me and i i you know it's it, I'm, I'm a better person for it and right. my family's doing better because of it too mm. but um that works for me but i've seen what it can do i've seen yeah. um and for me my choice was alcohol and um i you know but um i wasn't into drugs i, I get sick yeah. to my stomach if, with any when i have operations you know i had a bunch of brain yeah. surgeries and um, I, I couldn't stand the um, uh, anesthesia. Missed you know? that one in your intro too. Didn't yeah, you? yeah, wow, brain yeah. surgeries. <laughs> yeah, that I, what that I was uh, in recovery or um, brain, brain surgeries. surgeries. <laughs> that one. Uh, oh, Ross, I, 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 the point is when you when that. you go and you you sit in rooms and you talk to people in recovery too, and you listen yeah. to their stories of survival and their the hardships that they they put their family through and they put themselves through, and oh, one of the key components is marijuana. Um, it wasn't for me, uh, but I've seen so much of it. And yeah. I just think, my goodness, this can't be good. This can't be good. And you, you, you can hit me with all the arguments. Oh, it's still going to be hard for me to vote yes in that. I do believe it will pass. There's other, there's other oh, people yeah. that said no way, but um, I'm, it, I'm not a strong proponent. So of it. the problem with that, so I'm, I'm, I'm right there with you. I'm a hard no on any type of drug, honestly, any. Uh, me as well. But, Sorry, Frank. The, the hard I'll part be the only about, yes here, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm not even, I, I agree with you. I don't even agree with it for uh, medical. Sorry, Frank. I just uh, don't. I disagree with that well, too. I don't. Yeah, I yeah. agree. I've seen if you're it dying, off, in the medical if you're industry, dying or so. in pain and it's the only thing that gives you relief, I get that. That's fine. That's understandable. You know what I mean? But for you to just be like, oh, I'm a little sad. And, you well, know, no, that makes sense. I agree you know, with that 100%. Yeah, yeah, I agree with silly. that. I mean, it's like anything else, right? It's You can abuse it. So yeah. let's put it this way. If I'm an epileptic person, right? If, I'm epile yeah. if I have epilepsy yeah. and I use medical marijuana to help me with my epilepsy because I'm on how many other different pills that they have me on and I still have tremors and issues like that. But if I smoke marijuana and it calms me down, then why wouldn't I be able to get that? That's, that's At the yeah. end of the day, why, yeah. if I am able to get marijuana to help me and I can't get it, but I could drink alcohol and drink myself into oblivion, then how is that possible? We, yeah. You know alcohol what I'm is far worse mm -hmm. than yeah, marijuana. I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's, and when it you think it's, about it's, it, it's, it's toxin well, and it kills yeah. you. We did yeah. an alcohol episode, by the way. So if you uh, check haven't that. checked it out, check it out. Yeah, like has got some interesting <laughs> studies. In yeah, that. like for yes. instance, in a hospital, they actually have an order for, for um, a beer. Because you can't cut the body off of alcohol straight up because yeah. the body will die because it gets yeah, cold turkey. Yeah. But it's not like that with marijuana. So <clears throat> I agree. I'm I'm in the center of what everybody's saying here. I think medical marijuana should be available for patients that actually need it. I don't think I, I should I, be I, able to go to the doctor and say, hey, I want marijuana. What do I need to do? But, you know, unfortunately, we have the doctors that they shouldn't be held liable because right now we have a, a pandemic happening or an epidemic happening with this weight loss drug that's happening. You know oh, about oh, that, right? Oh, Ozempic. Oh, man. So, Ozempic. Ozempic. So, we, so yeah. we have doctors now telling yeah. patients what they need to say to be able to get it with insurance on TikTok. Right? Yeah. Right. We have doctors saying how to do it instead of saying, instead of challenging the people being like, why are you going to do that to your body? Why don't you just eat a better, you know, have a better lifestyle, eat a little healthier and do some, do some stuff and do, do something better for yourself and feel empowered by it instead of taking a shot to feel sick, to get 600 calories a day and no shit, you're going to lose weight eating 600 calories right. a day. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So I like, agree. Yeah. The way I, the, I look at it as the, the, the process is the problem, not mm. the actual marijuana, not the actual medication. It's the process. So it's just like anything else. If you have a shitty process that you allow anybody and their mother to get it yeah. and abuse it, it's a bad thing. Mm -hmm. But right. if you have a legitimate process 
that says, hey, I've tried these medications. I have renal failure. I'm worried about my kidneys. I have epilepsy. These things are going on. I want to try the marijuana because I've already tried every other pharmaceutical that the pharmaceutical company's pushing down my throat that hasn't been tested for 10 years, so I don't know what's going to happen to me anyways. Mm -hmm. Then I should be able to get that. Now, the whole Oregon thing with acid and... Mushrooms, mushrooms and everything. Yeah. I don't believe in any well, of that. This that's is the door to crazy. open it. This is the doorway right the, to it. Case, well, here's mushrooms the are not. Here's the thing. No, here's the thing. Kids, I have teenagers. You have teenagers. Yeah. The kids today, weed is cigarettes back when we were younger. You know what I mean? It's not. It's just like cigarettes. It's yeah. normal. You don't sweet smoke weed. My kids get made fun of yeah. because they don't yeah. suck a vape full of weed. They're like, "What's wrong with you? It's just weed." You know what yeah. I mean? It's nothing well, that's, serious. That's not normal. Kids shouldn't even be part that's of that. How that's my, how it is. My family. The See, younger was ones. For us younger like 20s. Younger yeah. 20s. They're like, this is, it's just weed, man. It's nothing serious. You know what I mean? Like the youth, the youth have grown up with, oh, it's, it's nothing bad. It's normal. This should yeah. be, why isn't this nah, See, that's not, that's, that's how, not that's where it, that's where the problem's definitely coming in. And then you got, then you have podcasts like, other podcasts, big famous ones, <laughs> where they'll do it during the podcast, and they're like, "This is so great!" And then they'll mess up famous people. Look at what ha- did you see Elon Musk when he went on. Oh, you know what I mean? Well, that's, that's great. What an image. What yeah, an image. Right. And, and I mean, the, the other thing is, um, and again, I'm not a, a aficionado on this, but um, when you think about weed today versus what it was like in say oh, yeah. Woodstock or it's not Willie Nelson's weed. No, um, no it's, it's, concentrated. it's, it's, uh, no, it's concentrated. much higher and it does much more. I mean, we don't yeah. know the things that it'll do to us. And I guess the other argument against us yeah. is if we're sending, if we don't legalize weed, right. And, and, and Frank just said it, they're going to lace it with PCP or with fentanyl yeah. or with something else. That and all the or, yeah. or if they don't, are we sending people, are we sending our children, if we don't legalize it, and I'm, I'm not for legalizing it, and people argue to me, and this is a hard one for me, then are you, Jamie, sending people to the dealer who also can sell them heroin? Hmm. Mm. And that's a difficult one. That's um, hard. And so, I, see, I would just hope that, like, I would just trust that, you know, Hopefully, my kids would make the right decision and stay away from it, regardless. Well, now, I I was well, I've never same thing about okay. alcohol. Yeah, because alcohol is super addictive. I know. You know, what I mean, so sure. like I would I look at it as it's, it's either it has to be all or nothing. So if you're telling me that we don't know what marijuana does to us because of the concentration we have on it, but we know that alcohol and stuff causes cancer, why are we allowing alcohol but we're not allowing marijuana? If that's the case, get rid of both of them. Choose one or the other. So if it comes down to it, when you're 21 years old, either you want to drink to relax or you want to smoke to get to relax. And Frank just brought what, prohibition back. Yeah. Honestly. It's so ingrained I in your, culture that it's, that's not going to yeah, happen. Yeah, even said drugs and alcohol. <laughs> drugs and alcohol. But alcohol is a drug when you think about it. Yeah. It's they one just of the worst separated ones. it out because alcohol is legal. Drugs aren't. Yeah. So group them together then if that's the case. Because at the end of the day, like you said, alcohol is worse for the body. You you can literally die from dependency of alcohol, but Absolutely. you can't die from dependency of marijuana. Yeah, and you can't overdose on marijuana unless you smoke your body weight in marijuana. And that's I just I, I know it's being three hundred. Well, I've, yeah. I've, I've, <laughs> I've, I've, I've never done a drug in my life. I've never smoked pot. <laughs> nothing. I never did anything. I I drank like occasionally here and there, and even now I might have one like every few months. Um, but You're my, lucky from school county, everybody here yeah, is a drunk. Right. Yeah. Yeah. My my experience with with drugs and alcohol is from family members. So I've seen what it did to my family. I've seen my dad go to jail over it. I've seen my sister go to jail over it. I've seen both, actually two of my sisters go to jail over it. Uh, I've seen two of my brothers go to jail over it. Yeah, but what drugs was that? Was that marijuana or speed or what? Well, hard drugs. I'll I'll be honest with you, they all started out smoking pot. Did they start drinking before smoking pot? My sister was a heavy alcoholic. So, yeah, I mean, like, well, they drank. Well, just, I smoke pot, but right. I drank before I smoked pot. They say marijuana is the gateway drug. Well, the first time I smoked pot, my inhibitions were lowered because I was drinking. So we, I normally wouldn't have smoked the pot, 
But I was like, oh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Hold on. No, no, no. <laughs> no. So, so here's, so here's, my, here's my argument about it, though. Here's my argument, though, is like, remember, we talked about determinism, right? And we talked about influences. When you start putting yourself yeah. around influences, that are, that just it, it, like you, you, might, to drink too, you might only smoke pot, but if you're around other people that smoke pot, but they, hey, they do this, they dabble in this, you're putting yourself around influences that might push you to kind of go that route. Yeah. Yeah. But so okay. where do kids I'm, I'm, have, well, let, let me, I'm, let me throw I'm another one at you. Where yeah, do kids have favor, let me, let me throw another one at you. Okay. So, so <laughs> can we agree that we support police here? Oh, oh yeah. my goodness! Okay, right? yeah, we yeah, support yeah. the police, the oh, yeah. and our police are trained, and they we we have some of the finest trained police here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Whether it's state police, local police, they Absolutely. know impairment. Yeah, um, they yes. know impairment. Yeah. They yes. can tell if you're impaired, whether you're driving or walking down the street. Right. Right. Yeah. They get you out of the car, and they can test you, and they know you're impaired. Yeah. And if you're drinking alcohol, they can say, "All right, you're low into this, or we're taking a blood test." Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you don't have a drop of alcohol in you, you've been smoking pot for all night or eating gummies or whatever you were doing. There's no way they can test you. There's no way they can prove it. They can do a blood or urine. No, they can't. Why can't they? Well, because they could say, oh, that was in my body for three months ago. Yeah, but I the thought there was a way that they could stays, test. No. It's there's five no, months. Well, if that's the case, wouldn't they just do the, the breathalyzer anyway? Because it's not going to come back. They, they, they can't oh. do a roadside check on on marijuana our police officers it's not yet yeah okay. yet and so for that reason alone we're not supporting the blue if we legalize marijuana and 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 let truck drivers drive down the road you know we talked about yeah. um what society is has caused us to shop right we're all shopping mm-hmm. yep. this yeah. way that means more warehouses and more what more trucks. More truckers. More truckers, yeah. yeah. More yeah. trucks. And and now we're gonna legalize marijuana and say, okay, you can smoke pot. Yeah, um, but you can't do it on duty. I can do it like just like alcohol. Are how you can you to drink test? Al- yeah. Well that's the argument. How yeah. can you test? And then you the other ra- thing was yeah, I'm sorry. I, mean, I guess you can't even randomize them with urine tests because that could be old. You can actually that could be DOT, from the weekend. Yeah, we we have at our company we had hmm. um three different we had pre employment. We had random, and then we had incident related, and then of course the DOT. Actually, yeah. four. You're, so, you're, making, you're making my head hurt here today. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's good. Um, I well, mean, I see the point. Like, yeah, like let's put it this way: if you want to smoke weed on the weekend that you're not working, you should be able to. Just like alcohol, just as long as you don't come in high or you don't come in drunk. But then, how are you going to test for it? That that right. you know that it happened over the weekend. Yeah, that is a great point. Yeah. So and great wow. point. And I test? think one of the things, that's just one. Yeah. And it's one, the, the, the piece I want to share with you about being a state legislator is that's just one. There's things that come up as relate to education, things that come up as relate to state government, local government, law enforcement, teachers. Um, Everything you're talking about has a catch twenty two though. Your job is not easy exactly. At all. I mean, I yeah. just yeah. I, that yeah. was something that I'm yeah. a hard no on. But I've had enough conversations about this where people say, "Now wait a minute, are you sending people then to go? To, if you if you're not going to legalize it, you're going to send them to somebody that will go uh, sell them heroin or or or, or to your well, point, I Frank, mean, give them give them something. Well, that they still might do it if it's cheaper. Yeah. And, right? and, and and so the point is, yeah. there's there's a lot of different topics that come up, and so wow. that's hard. one of the things uh, that we have to do, do guns, is is guns. talk to talk to stakeholders. So yeah. um, when it comes to healthcare, I talk to nurses, I talk to doctors, and I talk to hospitals. Find wow. out like the legitimacy yeah. of the legality of me. Yeah. So, no, no, no. When it's I'm I'm, I'm I've switched topics. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry my fault. No, my fault. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, but but certainly marijuana is something yeah, you talk to doctors about too. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but when it comes to any issue on healthcare, um, we yeah. want to talk to people that are in that field. When we talk about teachers um or education, you want to talk to teachers, but then you gotta to talk to the administration, then you gotta to talk to the school board. You get three different answers there, yeah. right? I mean, I don't know if any of you guys are on school board, but you, you know, if you talk to school board, you're going to get one answer. You talk to the administration, the the you know the superintendent, and, and, and then you talk to somebody uh, that's actually teaching, and then you go to special ed or something like that. I mean, it's mm-hmm. even harder. And then you bring in the cyber schools, yeah. um, the competition. 
Um, th- th- there's so many wow. different variables in every single topic that it's hard to get a, you know, oh, this is easy vote for me. Right. Um, wow. Well, I mean, you just, you just enlightened me. I mean, like just that one by itself. How do you, yeah. How, it's a catch. Everything is a catch 22. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, everything yeah. is a catch 22. It's, it's, it's well, I don't it's, envy you. Let me just put it. No, no, no. That's not what I said. It's just, no, I'm just I, it's, no, it's, no. It's, it's, it's a, a fact. Um, you yeah. know, bills, bills come out. There's a bill. Um, I don't think it's coming to the floor. I heard it was originally. Um, and now I think it's not. I was just told this. So, but I could be wrong. Um, banning pigeon shoots. Um, you guys well, they, already, they already got. I thought they got rid of pigeon shoots already. They used to have the one in Higgins. They I, got rid of it not a long time ago, didn't they? I think they still happen. Certain gun Do clubs they? still have. Them. Oh, okay. they still have. And, and so we're not going to mention them. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> let's not. Let's not. No. They don't sell marijuana, but they. <laughs> <laughs> so, but but um, but there was they were trying to run a law against pigeon shoots, and so, you know, you want to say okay. Are they, you know, you call your gamesmen, you call mm-hmm. your hunting clubs. Well, we don't do them here. And I, we don't even go to them. It's, we don't care. Right. But then you talk to a guy, are you anybody hunters here? Okay. You got a guy who raises chuckers and pheasants and, mm-hmm. and, and something like that. And he says, well, is this just the camel getting his nose under the tent? Because now if they stop pigeons, are they going to stop my pheasant business? Yeah. Are they going to stop my chuckers? which is a legitimate business. Now you eat those and, and, you know, you should, those are game um, birds that, that people um, right. pay to hunt. Yeah. And so there's another thing where you think, Oh, this is a humane. It's an easy. No, even my hunters are saying we don't care. Now I'm not, I'm, I'm not telling you I'm a yes vote or a no vote on that yet because I haven't talked to enough people and it hasn't come to the floor yet. I, and I don't think it right. is going to, there's just, there's not enough. Yeah, uh, juice behind it. Um, mm-hmm. People just, I don't think people care about it because right. to your point, Frank, I don't think they, they really go about it anymore. But if you think about that and you say, okay, I'm going to do the humane thing. If I were to say, um, I'm, I'm going to vote against this. All right. Now the next, is that just lend itself and give momentum to, well, let's stop chuckers. Let's, let's stop yeah. peasants. Let's stop hunting. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's, you know, let's take your guns away. Well, they could, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's um, how it's, it went it's, with, like, bump stocks and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They could try. Well, I mean, that, that's, what, that's what a lot of us say you know, on the NRI side. Oh, you're going to start with bump stocks. The next thing's going to be this. Then it's going to snow. Yeah. And you're just going to try taking our guns away from us. And, that's, I mean? and that's why in, in the Republican mm-hmm. caucus, when there's a gun bill, it's usually one, it's 102 to 101. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. All the Dems are, 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 are supportive of it. And all, all the Republicans are opposed to it. Um, mm. it's, it's our districts. Yeah. You know, and core values. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I protect my own. <laughs> you know, With you, brother. You know. <laughs> is there anything we didn't, I don't, I don't know what, is there anything we didn't go over, Matt, that... Uh, Man, you, I think you covered like all the questions I actually had in here before. This, this, <laughs> was, a, this was a great podcast. Oh, this, was, yeah. this was awesome. Oh man! Yeah, I learned so much. It was my favorite. I mean, talk to there's talk, so, talk about purpose. Yeah, yeah talk so, about purpose. I mean, I do have one thing to say though. You do have something that not everybody in politics has. You have God to guide you and a Bible. Yeah, yeah. That kind of gives you direction. Is, hey, is that something it, you do lean on? Oh Ryan? yeah, absolutely. Okay. And 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 uh, gosh, don't don't think for one second I'm not a sinner. Uh, oh, I, I, oh, I don't yeah. lean oh, on that. <laughs> Um, yeah. You should listen to me because <laughs> I can preach on Sunday and I know the gospel and um, I know scripture and um, no, I, it absolutely. When, um, you know, there, there are dark days. Um, yeah. We all have them, but absolutely. there are dark yeah. days when you're thinking, oh my gosh, there's, cause you get emails, right? Your email's public and, and, and I give my cell phone to everybody. So, um, you know, people have my cell phone and you're getting hit with all these issues of, Hey, you need to help this for, you need to help this. You need to vote against this. And you just think, you know, wow, I'm really beat up. And you think you're in a dark place. And one thing I kind of think of is, well, I'm not, I'm, I'm not in a dark place. I'm, I'm just planted. Right. I'm planted and I'm going to grow from this. I'm going to grow out of this dirt that, that I'm planted in. And, and that helps me too, because um, how else do you grow unless you've been thrown at 
you know, host of different issues and troubles. Mm. Um, so, and constantly, constantly you lean on your faith. I lean on mine. Um, like I said, I, I was doing two pair of breakfasts. I was doing one on a Tuesday and one on a Wednesday. And, um, the one on a Tuesday, and, and I love them both. And I still do the one on a Tuesday mm-hmm. once in a while, but the one on a Wednesday, I try not to miss because, um, we do it before, you know, most other people are even up. Um, and it's just a chance to listen to somebody that doesn't have the same values as me, mm-hmm. but they, uh, they, they still have, uh, love of Jesus Christ in their life and, and, and their faith and their family. Um, so we have something in common and we're, we're both Pennsylvanians and we're both representing this Commonwealth. And, you know, I didn't say it before, but when you represent your district, you're also representing the Commonwealth. So mm-hmm. yes, you have to say, this is what's best for my district, but yes, you have to also say this is what's best for the state too. Yeah. Um, and you have to keep in mind, um, cause there are some bills that come out that are specific. To Philadelphia. There are some bills that come out that are specific to Pittsburgh. Right. And it bothers me. I'm like, why doesn't Philadelphia has a city council? Mm-hmm. Right. Why mm-hmm. don't they handle this? Mm-hmm. Why is taxpayers, the whole Commonwealth, doing this? Right. Um, mm-hmm. But I agree. Um, we, like we, we, we do yeah. have to, like <laughs> we, we do, and I don't know the answer to that, but I, I, I you do have to. Um, certainly work with both sides. It's, it, it can that we, you know, the thing we brought up late in this podcast was independence, people in the middle. Yep. And mm-hmm. I think the majority are in, in this Commonwealth are in the middle. I mean, Pennsylvania is definitely a purple state, right? They, they call Pennsylvania a purple yep. state. Yep. Um, you know, there's, <laughs> there's a joke I don't like where they say it's, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, and Pennsylvania in the middle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. pretty much. Pretty much what it is. Um, <laughs> no, I, 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 I gotta tell you guys this too, because you guys might, might not agree with this. So I'm also not a fan of the word "skook." I'm not. A, I, 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 I'm not. No, I think it's demeaning, and I, I'm proud to be a Schuylkill County person. And, okay. and so my mother was from Scotland, my father was from Pittsburgh, but we grew up here. My father worked at Penn State, and uh, we got moved here because of Schuylkill campus. So. Okay. I moved here when I was four years old, went to K through 12 at Blue Mountain School District and went to Penn State oh. Schuylkill and went to Penn State. And, and, and this is my home. I, and, and so I get it. There's Scoop News and there's Scoop Auto Sales and Scoop This and Scoop That. But, the, oh, I'm a, he's a Scoop. What do you expect? He's from the Scoop. I expect a lot from people from the Scoop. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I expect a lot of people. From, I expect a lot from all of you guys. I expect a lot from Danny. I expect a lot from the people that live here. And um, they expect a lot from me, and I'm, I'm, I think we all should expect a lot from people, and that's how we grow our community. Yeah, so agreed. Um, and I don't want to demean that. So when people say, "Oh, you're from the Skook," I said it's pronounced Skookill. Um, yeah. <laughs> and you know, I, it's, I'm not too big on that, but don't ever, don't ever say anything bad about this county. Don't ever say anything bad about this community. Right. Um, we're as strong as they come, and and um, I, I've been to. I told you, my mother was from Scotland, so we traveled. We didn't have money, but we, yeah. but my family was in Scotland, so we'd go visit Scotland, and we, you know, <laughs> then we'd go to Italy or something like that, or or, or, or visit other places. So we we did a lot of traveling as a child, but like I said, we had cars that were held together with uh, black tape and rubber bands, but <laughs> that's why I had the black tape in my truck <laughs> for your Band-Aid. <laughs> Silver right. tape, duct tape. Yeah. Um, and, and, but, but you know, you, you, you go around and, and you realize, hey, there's a lot of beautiful things. It's a wonderful world we live in, but Schuylkill County, Pennsylvania is, uh, yeah. is as good as it gets. So uh, We definitely, we take this area for granted. <laughs> it's a beautiful place. I came back. I moved. It, I was in Cleveland. I, I lived all over. I was in Sunbury. It was really nice while you were gone, Frank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I came back and everybody, everybody miserable. <laughs> but no, I, I came back because oh. my roots are here and, yeah. you know, I, I know this area. Yeah. No, I want to exactly. make this area better. I don't want to go somewhere else and we have you know, potential. I wanna, yeah, I wanna, we definitely I have make potential. This area better. I mean, yeah, coal's in our blood. Yeah, it's, it's, it's in our veins, man. Mm-hmm. It's in mine. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. I couldn't be prouder of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. my my uncle owned and leased the coal mines and stuff. So. Yep. Yeah. 
Well, thank you for coming on. Yeah, you thanks. Else for yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Um, that's that's all I got. Well, thank you, Jamie. You're right. Thank you, you both for this, man. Thank you. He's down to earth, and he knows what's yeah, going what's, on. Uh, school, what's school, school I have a, yeah, I have, have a uh, a Facebook page. Um, I have a website, repbarton.com. Check um, it out. I yep. do a weekly e blast um, at repbarton.com. You can see it. You can sign up for it. I email it every Friday, and then. Every other Friday, I do a thing called Barton Breaks It Down. And that's my commitment to the people in the 124th to um, keep transparency of what's going on in, in, in our uh, 124th district and in Harrisburg. So I, I pick a topic and um, talk about it. Um, I just did Hamburg Field House. Um, I don't know if you guys oh, are familiar yeah, with that. I love Hamburg no, 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 I take that back. Not the Hamburg Field House. Oh, okay. Hamburg State Hospital. So the oh, Hamburg okay. State Hospital closed in 2018. Um, and there were people saying, Hey, illegal migrants are moving in there. So I drive down there. It's not far from my house. It's about 20 minute drive. So I drive right to my ha- drive there. There's security there. The gates are locked. There's no one there. Um, and I come back and I call the person back. I'm like, who told you that? Because it's not true. Um, and then I go on to social media and yep. there's a host of geniuses that are saying, Hey, we just, <laughs> we just saw busloads of people. And I'm like, you, you didn't, I'm here right. to tell you, you didn't, you know, if you saw a bus, they, you, you may have seen a bus, but it drove by. So I actually thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring a camera crew in here and show people that there's no one here. That's awesome. And, and let them wow. know what's going on at this facility. So yeah. um, those are the type of things we do. Uh, I, I do a Barton Breaks It Down every other month. And again, it's stuff that's happening here and oops, stuff that's happening here and stuff that's, that, that's happening in Harrisburg. So bills that are, that are big. And, you know, one of the ones that uh, that's coming up and... Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. We were closing out. No, I, I'm no, sorry. no, it's fine. I'm just yeah. yapping away again. But <laughs> okay. when you when you come to the Capitol, yep. And if anybody wants to come to the Capitol, we can. I'm, I'd be happy to give anybody a tour. There's, it's the People's House. It's open. There's no fee to walk in the Capitol. I don't it's think some, I've been there since like the sixth grade. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, it's it's you should come. It's, it's 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 an amazing place. And but when you go into the main rotunda and you look up, there's four main uh, paintings. Okay, these yeah. beautiful paintings. And they're the pillars that Pennsylvania was built in. Capitol was built in 1906. Um, it was dedicated by President Teddy Roosevelt. And mm. at that time, he said it was the most handsome building he had ever seen in his life. And it still is. One of the cool things about the Capitol is the tiles are uneven on the main floor. And it was done that way so the politicians wouldn't remind, remember what the common man walks on. And so you're not walking oh. on these marble wow. floors. You're, you, you need to walk on, it's like a cobblestone. Um, wow. It's not cobblestone, it's tile, but right. it, it purposely was uneven. So, um, ladies, it's not a good idea to wear high heels, although a lot of people do. That's um, incredible. Wow. Not there. Um, <laughs> but when you cool. look up never at knew these that. four mm. paintings, and it's basically, not basically, it is the four pillars that Pennsylvania was built on. And one is religious freedom, right? Mm. The, the Quakers and religious freedom. The other one is oil, right? Oil was, you know, Texas is Texas, but it was... Oil was founded in Pennsylvania. Mm. The other one was coal. And the other mm. one is steel. Four things that now our society is demonizing, mm-hmm. yeah. right? Yeah. Steel, are we making steel anymore? Are we mining coal anymore? Are we drilling for oil or drilling for natural gas? Are we going to church? Um, you know, yeah. or, 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 or do, we, do we pray in schools? Do we, do we pray anywhere? Um, and, and, and so uh, if In 1906, that's what our country stood, our country, pardon me, our state stood for. And uh, my goodness, I think, I I wish it would stand for that again. So I I do, and it sounds like you guys do too. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and I I think that uh, we we need to continue hope and we need to continue to work. I mean, if, if, you know, that's... That's why I'm doing this because I'm not, I'm not moving anywhere. I'm not going yeah. anywhere. Yeah. Um, so how else do you do it? You, you preserve what, what uh, you had growing up and preserve the area that, that, you, that you love. That doesn't mean don't allow developments to come in. That doesn't mean don't allow business to come in. It just means preserve um, a, a type of professionalism, a type of uh, um, exciting and caring and loving community yeah. to live in. Uh, so, yeah, beautiful. Well, well said. Thank you so much. You're you're very yeah. humble. You're very transparent with us. Um, I'll be uh, watching that. Absolutely. <laughs> that video and everything. Now. You know, I love the tra- I love transparency. That's why you know we 
<clears throat> design software and stuff like that because we're looking for transparency, more transparency Absolutely. for the taxpayer, more transparency for the citizen. No, that's that's wonderful. That's exactly what what I want, and I think that's great that you do that already. I mean, yeah, how many people do a lot of and, transparency? And, and, and you know? let me tell you that I've I've done some with dairy farms, just explaining to what what goes on a dairy farm because. Yeah. Um, in some farms it's, it's, um, you know, people's like, well, why would they, why would they sell to that solar farm? I'm like, well, because their kids moved away and they didn't mm. want to be farmers because they saw what their grandfather did, what their parents did. And it's hard, hard work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but we feed our community and we feed our nation, uh, with that food. Um, mm. so it, you can understand these are people that have for generations paid taxes on land and farmed land. And if there's no one there to farm anymore, what do you do? You sell it. Yeah. And, and um, so I get that also. I don't like it, but I, I get it. You know, it's, it's a difficult piece. Yeah. But thank you so much for having me. And oh, uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for taking yeah. time in your busy schedule to yeah. come. Of course. Come have a conversation course, with important. us. Yes. No, don't forget Make to sure you vote for him. Vote for him. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. All right. That's it. Thank yeah. you guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. See you. Bye-bye.